So what uh you two we're four twenty here and I'm bringing you another Tales from the Multiverse. Uh I don't think I'm gonna have good enough ranges for that though. I think I'm gonna move over. So Yeah. Alright. So uh what up you two? Book four twenty here, about to bring you another Tales from the Multiverse. So like the other night, okay, you know, I'm out in my backyard, I pick up a little stick off the ground, you know, and I'm just chilling, you know, and walking around the yard, smoke a cigarette, looking at the stars, and uh the fucking portal opens up, man, and I go through it. Well, I was a little hesitant. I peeked my head through, but, like, I got sucked through anyway, so, uh, yeah, you know, I fall, I, I land in some, you know, like, kind of foresty area, you know, and I'm like, okay, uh, this is definitely not my yard anymore, we are not eating Applegate anymore, Toto, and I'm like, okay, so I'm wandering around, I still got the stick in hand, you know, and all of a sudden, you know, hold on, I wanna, yeah, you know, so like, I'm wandering around this place, stick in hand, and I see these, like, black cloak dudes, you know, chasing this dude who had, like, glasses and spiky hair and shit, you know, and, uh, they're chasing this dude, and I see him with sticks, similar to the stick I had, you know, so I, uh, and they're, they're waving these sticks around, and they're saying words, you know, and there's, like, sparks flying off of these sticks, and, and trying to hit this dude, but this dude's dodging him with his stick. He's he's parrying him with like sparks from his stick. And I'm like, these are just sticks like I got in my hand. So uh, you know, I tried to swing it and you know, I tried to say something they said. Uh, and let's see, uh they had the stick there. So like, I got the stick in my hand and I'm like, and I try it, I say something they said, you know, um, I said, Wingardium Leviosa, like, and a tree branch levitated off of the ground that tried to hit the spiky hair dude. Well, I did it and nothing happened. And I was like, well, what the fuck? And so what I did with this stick, okay, hold on, Akio stick. So, uh, you know, what I did, you know, this stick, I broke it once, I had to use a, a repair kit on it, and I managed to make it work as long as I had the, the tip tightened good enough. It was fully functioning again. So what I did with this stick, you know, I was carrying this stick around. This is the stick I picked up on the ground the other night, you know. I'm carrying this stick around, and I've seen them use it, and I was like, hmm, I wonder. I wonder if this is like, like, um, you know, a ser certain series of books I read, and movies, and, you know, um, I was like, I wonder if this is like that. And I was like, hmm. So I took, I ripped out a chunk of my hair off of my head. And I tied it around this stick. And, you know, I waved the stick. Oh, God, you love Yosa. And all of a sudden, this, you know, uh, fucking tree branch floated up in the air. And I was like, oh, far out, you know. So then I was like, Repugnate! And 
the, uh, <laughs> the, uh, the, the tree branch went flying and it took down the, the two dudes in black clothes and the little dude in glasses was like, well, thank you so much, governor. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, that's, that, that, that would be a, uh, cockney accent anyways. Yeah. Anyways, this, this kid, you know, he's like, thank you. Thank you so much, you know. And I was like, okay. He's like, what kind of wand is that? It, it seems pretty powerful. And I was like, um, it's a wolf hair and maple wood wand. And he's like, oh yeah, that's one of the legendary wands. I was like, oh yeah, um, cool. <laughs> and um, you know, I said wolf hair because. It was hair for my own head, you know, but it worked, it worked. So my wand had a core and a brain, you know, wood, and I was like, cool, you know. So now I'm wandering in this world with the little spiky hair dude, glasses, and he's all like, we have to defeat the dark lords, and I was like, cool, um, yeah. Like a friend I had once. And I was like, oh yeah? He's like, yeah. Um, he, was, he was actually uh, a member of the Order. And I was like, oh cool. Order of the Phoenix. He's like, no, it's, it's Order of the Rhinoceros. And I was like, alright, whatever. <laughs> and I was like, alright, cool. Um, probably was me. <laughs> and he's like, then you are the the man who lived again. And I was like, well, I, I guess I would be um, sort of like that. And so I got my wolf hair and, and maple wood wand and I'm rolling around with the little spiky hair dude glasses. I got my glasses on, you know. And my long hair, and, and uh, you know, I'm wearing my black, and, and you know, and you know, I look like a badass, like dark wizard, but I'm also the chosen one. And it's like, yeah, I can use the dark powers against the darkness. That's what makes me special. And they were like, okay, prove it. Well, these, these, uh dudes they had in cages just come rushing me and I'm like Avada Kedavra Abracadabra Abracadabra and uh, you know I'm shooting green flames out of my wand Abracadabra and and uh, the the green flames are hitting them and killing them all and and then you know, I was like lockdown lift and, you know I'm like Force choking this dude with my wand, and, and I send him flying into the rest of them, and I'm just like, I'm just kicking a lot of wizardly ass. <laughs> and uh, they're like, it's definitely the chosen one. It's it's just like the just like the the, the doppelganger, the, the one before. He's the man who wins again. And it's because I'm multi doppelganger. The, the dude from their world is the one that fulfilled the prophecy of the dead. Uh, so back from the dead uh, in this world, and I'm rich again, and I'm like, you know, kicking a lot of ass with dark wizard powers. They're like, this trip to the beyond, big and harness the shadows and and he kills the evil wizards attacking us. And you know, so I, I lead the army in an epic rebellion uh, of wizards all casting spells against other wizards and, and, and fighting. And, you know, I'm wearing a black trench coat with my, my, my black tank top because it's a little colder there. And there, there, there uh, you know, it's like 60 some degrees here today. My, uh, my, my studio lighting makes it super, 
warm to me anyways, but yeah, it's like 60 degrees here. I woke up cold last night, actually, then, uh, but yeah, it's a little colder there. It was like, you know, 50 degrees there, so wearing a, a, a hooded trench coat here, 40 degrees even, you know. Apparently, uh, it's a younger world than ours. Um, it's like medieval England, but they're like futuristic technology because they invented magic instead. And, uh, yeah, I'm there. And technology just looks like technology to me, but it, to them it's advanced wizardry. And I'm like, oh, far out. You know, they're like, it's awesome. This piece of wood I have that I carried with me from my world gives me phenomenal cosmic power in there <laughs> because it's my wand and hair from my own head and yeah well like I said you know I, it broke in the battle and I had to use a wand repair kit on it so that's why it's all taped up like this uh she probably like colored the entire thing black and would leave the tip white uh as long as I got this tip tight, as long as I got this tip tight, it is a perfect conduit for the magic. But if this tip's not tight, it will backfire once in a while. That was hilarious. I go to cast a spell and it blows up and hits me and I go flying and the little little glass dude laughed at me. He's like, you gotta make sure your tip tight, your tip is tight. And I was like, oh, okay. You know, and I tightened my tip even more. And yeah. So that was pretty wicked. I, I got my tip tight. I got phenomenal cosmic power, legendary wand of dueling right here in my hand. Unfortunately, here it's just a fucking piece of wood with tape and some of my hair on it. That sucks. But there, this is awesome weapon. And I am a badass. And it's all because of my experience with an old series of books and movies. And yeah. The man who lives again, the chosen wizard, who defeated the Dark Lord. I was heralded as a hero, but I had to come home, you know, responsibilities. Gave my wealth to the to the boy. And yeah. Yeah. Kinda the game is like father thing or something. I don't know. Whatever. Uh yeah, so, a mighty adventure in a world where magic exists, and just because I tore a piece of hair off my head and tied it around a stick, it gave me phenomenal cosmic powers. <laughs> and, uh... Guess where I'm going with that is uh, Harry Potter's a brilliant series. I would like to see them make new ones, uh, some new movies. Like, you know, they did the end of Harry Potter, but like, they could go to like before the end and show like adventures of, you know, like middle age or, you know, uh, you know, however old they are right now, Daniel Radcliffe, Emma Watson, and Rupert Grint, uh, you know, however old they are, they could do adventures in that age frame uh, for us older Potterheads. That would be cool if they did, like, some cool stories of, like, I don't know, Maybe a new dark wizard rises and, and the adult Potter and, and <laughs> Harry and Hermione 
all them had to fight, you know, uh, they'd be awesome. Like, an older Potter series for older Potter heads. And I am Wolf 420. And the man who lived again to return to defeat the Dark Lord. And I bid you Farewell.